Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a store rug store haul. Um, I didn't actually, well, I actually bought two things from Ulta, but, well, two drugstore items from Ulta, but not all this is from Ulta. I just, I accidentally ripped my other box, so I had to put it in this Ulta box. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into it. Um, I got a lot of different stuff from a couple different places. So, the first one I'll start with is Walmart, because I got some stuff from Walmart. So, let me move this big up box right here. Alright, so we'll start with Walmart. The very, very first thing that I got is the Suave Professionals Moisture Mask for normal to coarse hair. This bad boy right here. Um, this thing, oh my god. Ah! It literally smells so freaking good. Like I could not get it because it smelt so good. And it was only like three bucks and like that's a pretty good deal, which it did. I wish I would have realized this whenever I picked it up, but there's like something spilt all over the side of it So I wish I would have realized that and just picked up like a different one But I'm really excited about this because it smells so stinking good and it's gonna make my hair smell awesome So basically I'm pretty sure all it is is apply a generous amount to clean wet hair allow to penetrate for three to five minutes Then rinse out for extra dry or coarse hair leave up. Oh, sorry leave on for up to ten minutes Best when used two to three times per week in combination with Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Shampoo. Oh yeah, I didn't even say what the, like the scent is. It's almond and shea butter, which I wouldn't say that that's what this smells like. I definitely wouldn't say that it smells like almond and shea butter. I don't know, it smells very like, I don't know, it just smells really good to me. It's like sweet and it's just an awesome scent and I can't wait to try it out because it's awesome and I love like hair masks and stuff um, especially ones that you can put in like the shower because that's what I'm gonna use it for I'm gonna put it like I'm just gonna keep it in my shower and then put it on my shower and then I can like shave my legs and like my armpits and stuff like that and so yeah my room clean okay ignore the dirty clothes hamper over there ignore that um okay the next thing I got is this elf shadow lock eyelid primer in sheer um, I love this stuff. I use it all the time. And so I thought I would go ahead and get a backup for two dollars. It's an awesome, awesome primer for two bucks. Um, honestly, it's honest part. Like, it's a great primer for ten dollars, but it's only two bucks. So that's a really awesome deal. The next thing I got, which is food related, um, is this chia seed, or these chia seeds. Um, Badia? 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 I don't know how to say that, but I picked this up because chia seeds are really supposed to help like with your stomach because I experience a ton of bloating like after any meal, anything I eat, I experience bloating and so I thought I would pick it up because it's supposed to help with like your bloating and stuff and make that better and man like better, you know what I mean? So I thought I would pick this up and like maybe put it in smoothies or like yogurt or something because uh, I'm trying to eat healthier. It's not, it's not going well though at all. The next thing I got is this Quate, Equate Beauty Dual Power Moisturizer. This is compared to the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer, which I used that for years. Like literally all through high school, I used the um, Clean and Clear one. And I'm hoping that this is just as good because it's a lot cheaper than that one. And I love the smell of the Clean and Clear one, so no, it doesn't smell the same. Um, the one, the Clean and Clear one smells like really sweet. This just smells like lotion, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. It like moisturizes dry skin and helps treat and prevent pimples. So we will go ahead and try this out. Hopefully it's as good as the other one. It doesn't smell like the other one, which kind of sucks because I really like the smell of that other one, but it's a lot cheaper. And then I got two nail polishes. The first one is this LA Colors Color Lash Nail Polish. This is the last up to 10 days one. Um, and then this is in the color Gravity. It's just a really, really pretty teal color. And I'm so excited to try this out because this is like a perfect fall color. And, er, fall. Yeah, fall. It's the perfect spring, uh, summer. There, summer. There we go. It's the perfect summer color in my opinion. I love it. Um, and I'm really curious to see how this works because it's supposed to last up to 10 days. Oh, with color last top coat. I didn't buy the top coat. So I'm going to have to buy the top coat in, the, in order for it to last 10 days. But um, it's not bad at all because they're only like $1.98, which is 
pretty good for a nail polish, especially if it lasts 10 days. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain about two bucks. Then the, the other nail polish I got is this Sinful Shine with Gel Tech Nail Polish um, in the color Most Sinful. It's just this really gorgeous blue color that I've like really been into this color lately and so I like really wanted to pick it up. This is like the um, the gel one where you have to have like the um, like the gel top coat over top of it which I already have it in my drawer in my nail drawer. Um, so I already have that one and so I thought I would pick up the net, the gel one because they did have one that was very very similar. I don't think it was the exact color of this one but it was very 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 similar and you like really wouldn't even be able to tell the difference on your nails. Um, to this color but it was in like the regular form where you just paint your nails and you're done you don't have to do the top coat um so yeah i picked this up because it's just so pretty and then the very last thing that i got from walmart is this maybelline dream velvet soft matte i can't talk maybelline dream velvet soft matte hydrating foundation i got mine in 60 sandy beige which i don't think that this will be my color well maybe i don't know um, but I really don't think it'll be my color. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, hopefully, but we'll see. Um, this is actually really expensive. Um, I mean, for drugstore, I mean, like, you know what I mean. For drugstore, this is actually really expensive. It's like 10 bucks. I paid 10 bucks. I don't know, like, if it's $10 where you guys are at, but at my Walmart, it was $10. So at, like, CVS or Walgreens, it's going to be even more expensive. But at my Walmart, it was $10, which I think is really I think it's expensive for only one fluid ounce, in my opinion. Let me go, how much is in this one? This is also one fluid ounce, and this is only like five bucks. So that's like half the price of this. Yeah, and I mean, you get the same amount, but that's expensive for like a drugstore foundation, in my opinion. I mean, I know L'Oreal is a lot more, like is usually more expensive than Maybelline, but for a Maybelline foundation, I think that that was kind of expensive, in my opinion. Um, but it really interests me whenever it said soft matte hydrating foundation. Um, I know I've talked about it before, but I have really dry skin now. I When I first started my channel, I had combination skin. That was just because my skin was so dry that my skin was producing excess oil to make up for how dry it was. And so now it's just extremely dry all around. And there's no oilies whatsoever. Um, but... Yeah, uh, so I thought that this would be a cool thing to pick up because it says soft matte hydrating. And so I thought it would be cool for the summer. Um, but it doesn't have any SPF in it, so maybe not good for all, the whole summer. But I just thought it was really cool because it said hydrating foundation. And so, you know, usually you don't have a matte and hydrating foundation. So, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Um, I think I'm going to do a first impressions on it. Or do you guys want me to try it out for a while and do a review? First impressions or review? Let me know. So yeah, I almost hit myself with that. Okay, so that is all that I got from Walmart. Let's go move on to Ulta because I only got two things. It's also in a Walmart bag because I didn't feel like... I think I threw away the Ulta bag. I don't know what I did with it. Um, but I only got two things. Um, they had a like buy one, th buy one Maybelline product, get one 50% off. And so I got this uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo... 24 hour eyeshadow. This is in the color Tough as Taupe. And this is actually really dark compared to what I thought it was going to be. Um, because I got it online. And the picture online, I don't know if they like, there's like an error in the picture and like the wrong picture showed up for Tough as Taupe. Um, but it showed a different picture. It showed a lot, a lot, lot, lot lighter. And so this is a lot darker. And I actually got it because I wanted to put it like kind of as like an eyeshadow base all over my lid. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with this one because it's pretty dark, which that's okay. Um, I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but we'll see. I'll definitely try it out. I've heard that these are really, really good. I've never tried them, um, but I've heard that they're really good. It doesn't look like there's any glitter in it, which is good because I don't didn't want any glitter in it. Then the other thing that I got was this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. Um, this is actually really light. Um, same thing with this one. Uh, the color showed up, this one showed up a lot, lot darker than what it actually is. Like this is extremely light. It's, I don't think it's showing up on camera, but this is very, very light. Um, which I kind of should have known, I should have known that because I'm pretty sure it's the second to lightest color. 
Um, but this is really light and I don't know how it's going to work for me. I'm definitely going to try it out and it will work perfectly whenever I'm like extremely pale in the winter. But um, I just don't even think I'll be able to use it as like a highlight because it's really not showing up on camera. But it is extremely light. So I don't know if I'll be able to use it as a highlighter or not. But I will definitely try it out because I've heard that it's fantastic. Okay, and then so now we're going to move on to drugstore.com. Um, I didn't realize, I didn't know this, but, um, drugstore.com for new members, you get 20% off every single item that you buy. So like your very first time from purchasing from drugstore.com, you get 20% off every single item, which I think is amazing. Um, and so I bought some stuff. I did, I did a little, a little bit of damage. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the prices of everything just because it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper from drugstore.com with that 20% off than it would be if I bought it at like Walmart or CVS or at the drugstore. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into it. The very, very first thing that I bought was this Ariel Ardell Lashes. This was on clearance. It was, hold on, let me see. $2.69. This was only $2.69 on clearance. And again, you still got that 20% off. Um, Okay. And it came with like a little thing, which I'm allergic to latex, so I don't know if this has latex in it, because I know a lot of eyelash things, eyelash um, adhesives do have latex in it, and so I have to use a latex free one, so I don't know if I'll be able to use this, but I just think that they are really, really gorgeous. The top one is 205 black, and then the bottom one is the Demi Wispies. And, I mean, sorry, I think the lighting is, okay, there you go. Um, so yeah, I was really excited about that because it was only $2 and 90 cents, three bucks and you crap, three bucks and you got two different lashes. And I mean, that's better than like going to the drugstore and buying one. Cause I'm pretty sure they're like almost five bucks at my drugstore, um, just for one pair. Okay. And then the next item, I'm actually going to go in order now on my list so that it will be easier to tell you guys, you know, what I got. All right, so I, for Rimmel, they had a buy one Rimmel product, get one 50% off. So I bought two of the Rimmel Kate sculpting kits. One of them was 280, the other one was 559. So I bought two, um, they're both in the same color. It is in golden bronze and they just look like this. Both of them look, just look like that. Um, and one of them I'm going to give away I'm going to throw in that in the giveaway that I'm going to be having soon. But this is just what it looks like. I've heard really, really good things about it. I know Shelby Ashburn um, here on YouTube talks about them all the time and talks about how awesome they are. So I decided to pick one up for myself and then pick up one for you guys as well. Okay, the next thing is the Maybelline Face... Yeah, the Maybelline Face Studio... Words are hard. The Maybelline Master Fix Face, what, how do I say this? Maybelline Face Studio Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. There we go. M Translucent. This is $7.99, which I think was a really good deal because I know it's like almost, I think it's like $14 at my drugstore, which, I mean, that's a pretty good deal to me. Um, so I got this. I just really, really wanted to try it. I know I've been, I've been using the Urban Decay one. Um, cause I got like a little sample, um, from Ulta or from Sephora and like I bought like one of the smaller sample or one of the smaller size ones and I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of it and I don't know, I just really didn't see a difference in my opinion. So I decided I would try this out and I mean, this is a lot cheaper than the Urban K one and so yeah, I thought I would try it out and maybe it will be best, better, bester, yeah. Okay, better. Um, the next thing in here I got is this Jessie's Girl Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And then this was $5.59. Um, I'm pretty sure this, like, retails for $9, 8 bucks. So I did get, so, uh, you know, a couple bucks off. Um, I'm currently using the Stila Stay All Day one, which is, like, 20-something dollars. And so I was like, I need to find something that is drugstore and is a lot cheaper 
because I use that every single day and I don't want to go through it. Hold on. Why is the lighting getting weird? Okay. So I just didn't want to, I don't want to use like, you know, an expensive one. Uh, so I decided to try this one out and hopefully it's really good because I have heard good things about it and so I'm hoping it's really good. Um, I'm hoping it's better than my Stilla one. Okay, the next thing, the next thing is these Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. You get two of them and they're both style 11. Um, you also get like a little, um lash adhesive and a little like pair of like lash tweezers um so yeah I thought that this was cool and it was really cute like I thought it was like a cute little thing and these were three dollars and ninety cents no these were four seventy nine yeah okay these were four dollars and seventy nine cents so I thought that that was pretty cool um so yeah I thought that they were cute and I'm just really really into lashes lately I have on a pair right now which these are extremely natural well no they're not no they're not they're actually not that natural looking in the viewfinder they look natural like from far away but when you get close you can tell that they are fake but from far away they just look like my natural lashes so yeah mm -hmm. but I don't really like these lashes because I don't know. I just don't like them. But they're from like Kiss. I don't know what style they are because I already threw away the packaging. But they are from Kiss, but I'm not a huge fan of them at all. Um, just because like, I don't know, they're weird. It was They're weird to apply. These ones are. None of the other Kiss ones I've ever had were weird, but these were just weird to apply. They just like, I don't know. They're like all stuck together even though, like before I even put like lash adhesive on, they like stuck together. It was weird. Okay, the next thing I got is these Ardell Glamour Lashes in style 105. Um, this is probably my favorite pair of lashes, and these were only $2.90, like the other ones. Um, and they're probably my favorite. I wish I would have bought more. I didn't realize that they were only $2, no, $2.69. Okay, sorry. Um, I didn't realize that they were that cheap, so I wish I would have bought a couple of more, because these are, like, my favorite lashes ever. Like, they're so beautiful and gorgeous. Um, I wore them in a video... I don't remember what video it was, but I wore them in a video and I just got so many compliments on them and I like uploaded a picture on Instagram and people went crazy for them and they're just like, oh my god, I can't believe your lashes are that long. They weren't my lashes. They were fake. I told them that too. Yeah. Okay. The next thing is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Forming, Firming Butter. Um... I love this stuff, you guys. I got like I bought like one of the little bottles just because I needed a lotion. Um, I was up in Springfield and I didn't have a lotion, and so I just needed a lotion, and so I just bought one of the little bottles. And I fell in love, you guys. I fell in love. Okay, this stuff is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna let you in on a little TMI information, but also a little secret. Okay, so I <laughs> went from an A cup in my boobs to a D cup in a matter of a month and a half. So, I got some pretty bad stretch marks on my boobs, on my chest. Um, and so, I tried this out on them. <laughs> and it reduces the appearance of stretch marks, which is awesome. I know that that's a little too much information and you probably you know, didn't wanna know that, but it's awesome. If you guys have stretch marks, use this because it like reduces the appearance of stretch marks it's amazing it really is because now i virtually have none like you can't even tell i can wear a bathing zoo and be fine but yeah yeah so yeah try this out also my mom told me that this is really really good for pregnancy so if you're pregnant and you don't want to get stretch marks rub this on your body every single night and you're good to go so yeah I'm really happy with this. Also, it just makes your skin feel awesome. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And at first, I really didn't like the smell, but I've been warming up to it. It kind of tastes, I mean, taste. It smells like chocolate, like cocoa. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm actually warming up to it, and I'm actually in love with it. And you guys need to check it out if you haven't already, because it makes your skin feel super soft, and it reduces the appearance of stretch marks. So yeah, this was... 3.83? Are you serious? Yeah, this is only three dollars and eighty-three cents. I wish I would have bought more of that, more of these for that price. That is a good price. 
Okay. The next thing I got is this Bior baking soda cleansing scrub. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is actually like a powder. Can you hear it? I don't think you can. But it's actually just like a little powder in there, like baking soda. You know what I mean? Um... And it's, the cost of this was $6.39, which I looked at my Walmart, and it was like 9 bucks at my Walmart. Um, so I did get, you know, a better deal than at Walmart. Um, but I got a sample of this, I don't remember, a while ago, like a couple months ago, and I loved it. I fell in love with it. It smells awesome, and it's just really, really good. And so I decided that I would try it out. I'm pretty sure... Okay, it says great for combination skin, but whenever I used it, it didn't dry my skin out or anything. Like, when I used a little sample, it didn't dry my skin out or, like, make my fit skin feel gross or anything. And it didn't break me out, which is awesome. And so, I decided to pick this up because it was really, really cold to me. And it smelled awesome, and I really, really liked it. Um, it, like, gently exfoliates your skin a little bit. Just, like, very gently, though, which is something that I need. Because if I use too harsh of, like, an exfoliating cleanser, it like basically scratches up my face um because my skin is so so sensitive and so it just kind of like scratches up my face and makes my face extremely red for hours so I need something very gentle to exfoliate my skin because my skin is sensitive and dry um so yeah I picked this up and I'm super excited about using it okay we only got three more things no we got two more things because I already talked about that okay we got two more things um Alrighty, the first thing is this Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara in Waterproof. Um, if you guys watched a couple of months ago, I hauled this in like a Target haul, I think. Was it a Target haul? It was a collective haul. But I got it from Target online, um, and they sent me, I like bought the waterproof one, but they sent me the regular one. And so it was like, by the time I realized it, because I just like put my mascara, like I put my new products that I'm not like ready to use yet and like um, my makeup, like a certain drawer and like my makeup thing and um, I just didn't even realize that it wasn't waterproof and so by the time I realized it wasn't waterproof, I couldn't take it back um, and so I just gave it to my mom and BT dubs, my mom does not like the waterproof version at all. She usually doesn't have a problem with like her lashes like curling and staying up even if she just like uses a regular mascara. I have a really bad issue with that and like I have to use a waterproof mascara in order for my curls to stay up. But she usually doesn't have that issue and she did have that issue with the regular one. Like the regular version of this. Because um, her lashes like instantly fell. Even though she usually never has that problem. Um, so I went ahead and picked up the waterproof one because I've really been wanting to try it. And I hopefully I like it better than like the original one in the pink tube. Because I really really like that one. And then the very last thing I got, which I did get some samples and I'll show you that. Um, the very last thing I got, oh yeah, that mascara was $2.80 because it was a buy one Maybelline product, get one 50% off. So I bought this spray and then I got the mascara 50% off. Okay, and then the last thing I got is this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Covers. This was $5.60, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this because I went to Walmart and I looked at these because I never saw them at Walmart and I looked it up like online whenever I was like... I've heard really good things about it. And so I looked it up online and I was like, all right, let me see some reviews. I actually looked it up on Pinterest. And on Pinterest, they told me, after I already purchased this, um, it like talked about how you find it. It's a makeup item, but it is in like the nail care aisle. It's like with the nail care, um, which makes no sense to me. I'm not sure why it would be with the nail care. And so I like went and looked at it. And the one at Walmart, the size of it is like... A lot bigger like I wouldn't say double I don't know honestly I might say double I think it's double the size I don't think you guys can really tell how small it is um, but it's double the size of this one and yet they're the exact same price this one was 560 but I got the 20% off and so the one at Walmart was double the size and it was like eight bucks and so it was the exact same price as this would have been if I didn't get the 20% off um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I may send it back and then just get the one at Walmart because you get a heck of a lot more. But I don't know because it was only $5.60, but you get a lot less product. So I don't know. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. Um, so yeah, I thought I would try it out because I've been needing a new face powder. 
because I don't like the pressed powder one, like the Fit Me one that I have, and so I wanted like a loose face powder because I really like that. Um, so yeah, that is not it. They also sent me um, three little samples of, I didn't even know that you got like free samples from drugstore.com, but they sent me like a little, three little samples of the Advil, little Advil things, which I love these little things because I can just stick them in my purse and be good to go. Um, so yeah, I love these little travel size ones. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye guys.